this is Victor. I'm here with a new army showcase. It's been a long time that I was not doing an army showcase, and this time I want to share with you my Imperial Knight army. So this is what I've been painting during the summer. So I just finalized uh, last weekend, and from the left to right we have a Knight Castellan. Okay, and uh, the weapons are not glued. The top, uh, the uh, carapace weapons are not glued, so you can change. Uh, the missiles uh, by siege cannons, but on the kit is only coming two siege cannons and two uh, kits of missiles. So you can do or two missiles on, and one siege cannon, or the other way around, two siege cannon and, and one missiles. Uh, then I have uh, on the front two uh, knights um, Armager, uh, Armiger warglaves, the typical that was and uh, that are equipped with the. the this Reaper chain fist, the Reaper chain sword, the small one, and the multi melter, or the super multi melter. And then we have at the back a Warden, that is the one that goes with the Gallin cannon, and in this case I, I put the close combat weapon and the, the fist. Uh, here at the front and the, at right we have a Gallant, the close combat one, and then at the back we have one that is more tactical and uh, long distance, that is the Crusader equipped with the Garland Cannon and on the other hand the Thermal Cannon. Uh, yeah, you can use the Rapid Fire uh, Battle Cannon or the or the um, the other one, I forgot the name, the Thermal Cannon. I prefer to put the Thermal Cannon to have uh, so to have a good combination of anti-infantry and anti-vehicle. Uh, the top uh, weapons can be exchanged, so I, pay, I have, as you can see here, two of um, the auto cannons on the top, and I paint also two missile pods, so you can uh, have different combinations on the top. They are not glued; they just put. A, I did not magnetize neither. I don't think it's needed, and they are just uh, setting on on the pink hole they have for the cannons. So uh, it's been quite a fun. Uh, as you can see, the theme is uh, the, the color scheme is uh, the combination of cream and purples, uh, and then the iconography, the driving iconography of my uh, knights is the roses. Uh, in some cases just one knight has white roses, uh, I put also in other knights, uh, but it's not only these rows uh, that are uh, on most of the shoulder parts of the knights. And then I combine these with the schools and eagles and some uh, mechanical symbols. I'm imagining it's, uh, that each one have their own personal iconography, I see them as um, novels that uh, are fighting. Uh, the uh, the one that I'm imagining to be the leader is the one in the warden. That is the most is the uh, um, I would say the most uh, more flexible one. Being uh, the other two questor knights, uh, uh, her personal uh, because I imagine uh, I will do some more well, but uh, the two other question questor knights are uh, his bodyguards. Then we have uh, the the one that is the castellan that have incorporated latest to the force and is to give uh, to bring a big um, fire support to the unit. So I, I'm really enjoying painting them. I will try now to make some background and you will uh, and why they have this iconography, which is their uh, original planet and how they fight on the battle. So quite happy uh, to see and now I will make some pictures from different angles so you will be able to see them uh, in more detail. So just keep tuned and, and now enjoy the video. Uh, enjoy the pictures uh, of the different nights from uh, different angles so you can see in more detail all the iconography, all the paint job and I hope you enjoy what you see here. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and now enjoy the pictures. Bye!